that on this rail and I can lock it and it will get, just keep moving on until it warms up. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can you do with the second one? Yeah, I can. Because, because it's not just magnet, there's, there's no attraction, I can do, I can take two discs and I can lock one at a certain height and I can levitate the other one at a different height. Wow. And this is not classical physics, and this is what, this is what makes this uh, demonstration such a great educational tool. So very briefly, what are the real world applications of this? Okay, so, it, I must be brief. So <laughs> there are two kinds of, of applications for, for superconductors. The first one uses the ability to transfer current, electrical current, without any dissipation. You know, when you, you transfer current, inside a copper conductor, you always lose a certain amount of energy. In superconductors, this just doesn't happen. And the ability to transfer enormous amounts of current without any dissipation opens the door for many applications. For example, you can back up power stations. Imagine you had a hurricane in Miami and a power station falls down. You can transfer the needed current from another power station hundreds of kilometers away. That you can't, you can't do that. that today. No, you can't do this today. What about levitating vehicles? What about levitating a car? How and, big would the superconductor and, have to be? Okay, so of, of course you can imagine levitating train which has uh, minimal energy requirements. So this effect is quite strong. This the superconductor that I've shown you here, the thickness of the superconductor is only one micron thick. And a human hair is how thick? It's about 100. So micron. 100 the thickness of a human yeah. hair. So to levitate a car uh, in closing, what would that be then? So how big In order to be? levitate approximately a car, you need 4 millimeters of the same superconductor at the same area. So a disc that size, about 4 millimeters thick, could levitate a car? In principle, yeah. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Boaz Almoza.